Hi guys, what are women afraid of? No, I am not sexist at all. On the contrary, I have a lot of respect for women and it's a pity that I wasn't born a woman. But that's another story. Fear number one. Fear of mice. Why are girls so afraid of mice? They scream like the devil is roasting them in hell when a mouse runs past them. <gasps> What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? The devil is in me. I make fun of everyone and myself too. <laughs> The mouse is just a small, defenseless animal. He's nothing more dangerous than the same little teddy mouse that lives in toy stores and makes little kids happy. So why the hell are both young girls and older women afraid of mice? Everyone hurts these funny little animals and snakes and birds and frogs and even insects. But girls have the courage to pet huge dogs, lions and even giant gorilla monsters. But as soon as a mouse crosses their path, they freeze with fear. But if there were a mouse in place but this huge gorilla, the girl would throw herself into the arms of the monster, waiting for protection from the mouse. All women so mysterious. Some of them aren't even afraid to marry, for example, a gangster with anger issues who's been beating her for years. But they're afraid of mice. By the way, comment below why you think girls are afraid of mice. It will be interesting to hear your opinions. Fear number two. Never getting married and becoming an old cat lady. It's scarier than mice. Oh, yes. Great prospect. I personally knew a couple of very attractive ladies who were waiting for the perfect man. And he never appeared. They went on dates all the time. But they just didn't like any of the guys, neither one of them. It was always, this one's too short, that one's too fat, and that one doesn't make enough money! And the next one doesn't understand her excellent sense of humor. To be honest, she didn't have any sense of humor. And someone chews loud when he eats, and the other snorts at night. But that guy doesn't like watching romantic movies. When she sits down to watch TV shows, he goes into another room to watch soccer? How awful! How does he dare do such a thing? Oh, I forgot to say that she's finally met the man of her dreams. But damn it! She didn't like his mother. Why, you ask? Mom once brought it out that her son loves fresh homemade food. <laughs> But you didn't agree to be his personal chef. So you had his mom cancel the wedding. And now the years fly like birds in the skies. All your friends are married and you still go out on dates. But less often and less often. And disappointment sneaks up on you like a poisonous snake. In addition, inferiority complexes and fear of eternal loneliness appear. As always, you come to the party alone. Your friend promised that there would be several handsome, wealthy men. And now there is a handsome man, so confident, so slick. But he is not looking at you. You are already 45, and he is hitting on a hot 30 year old. You run to the restroom to look in the mirror and check how you look. It seems the size of your face is sagging even more. Your neck has become more wrinkled. Oh my god, what an old fashioned hairstyle! Nobody wants you anymore! Complexes and insecurities have become your best friends. And as always, you come home from the party alone. Well, sometimes not alone. Well, it won't be long. One, two, maximum three nights. Oh, oh, oh. Your friends have families, children. They spend the holidays at a large family table. They enjoy it. They have fun. But you at home watching TV, you're already 50. And then 60. 70! You bring a few cats home just to keep you company. And you're an old cat lady. But it's not too late to come to your sense. Today, when you're only 28, 30, 35, well, finally, choose a man 
or women. They are not perfect people, and even if his or her mother screams, stings, or pisses you off, but you love her child. Learn girls to compromise. By the way, boys, this also concerns you, and then this unnecessary fear of being forever alone will forever disappear. By the way, guys, do you know anybody looking for their soulmate? Tell me about it in the comments, and I'll read it. Let's move on to fear number three. Fear of the first day. To get married, you have to meet your fiancé at least once, at least for a minute. If you are not virgin Mary, but you are. Imagine waking up one morning and being informed that you are married. Your husband is waiting for you in the bedroom. Yeah, this is the first day. You walk in, you can hear your heart beat, and this ugly monster is lying on the bed. Oh my god, it's impossible to describe. Okay, I'm kidding, guys. So, the first date, you are so worried, you want to please him, and so you start preparing for this date. The date is still a whole week away, and you are already stressing like crazy. You look in your closet, and you have nothing to wear. As always, you have a whole wardrobe full of clothes, but still nothing to wear. Do you recognize yourself, baby? You start to try on everything. Oh, my favorite jeans don't fit. Why the hell did I eat pizza and cake every night? You should call a friend, borrow some clothes from her. And here it is, the day of your first date, and the guy is an attractive motherfucker. But you can't control your hands. You are so nervous, afraid to say something stupid. But you met a joke and looked. He smiled, but that smile looked a little suspicious. At first, you thought he was laughing at your jokes, but then you realized he was laughing at me. I knew it. He didn't like me. But before he leaves, she says, I'll call you sometime. A week will pass, but he never will call. And then you have another date. Oh, this guy starts harassing you. It's time to run away. He's a maniac. Dear girls, be patient, don't be afraid of dating, you won't miss your ideal man, and even if you're a little on the heavier side, fate will surely bring you together with someone who loves big women. Patient! Fear number four. Unwanted pregnancy. I have a brilliant idea on how not to accidentally get pregnant. Just don't sleep with boys. I'm kidding! And you admit him and you are speechless. But you can't just give it to him on the first night. What did he think of you? After all, he said that he was looking for a serious relationship. But on the other hand, you are afraid to miss it. He's so charismatic that maybe he makes a lot of money. But there might be some competitor who will immediately have an affair with him. What a difficult choice! And so, you throw yourself into the abyss of passion. And then comes the doomed pregnancy test. You are expecting a baby. The joyful will tell him, and he runs away. Girls, don't worry about judgment. Don't care what they think of you. You can give birth or not to give. This is your personal choice. Did someone tell you you'll have bad karma and be punished in the afterlife if you get rid of the baby? Even I have no proof of that. Girls, be careful. If you don't want to constantly worry about unwanted pregnancy, just use contraception and don't trust handsome boys. I still have about 1000 fears in store, but if I kept going, you'd be sitting here watching this video for a month and eating non-stop pizza or popcorn. Not. Then you will have another fear. Fear of being overweight. Not that. Sometimes you need to rest even from the devil. Subscribe to my channel, put likes or dislikes, and I'll try to pamper you with something funny in the next video.